Hey everybody, welcome to the round two review of the Carlton Western Bulldogs matchup. Uh, it was Pride Round. Uh, we played at Witten Oval. We expected there to be a lot of rain. It didn't come, thankfully. Um, but yeah, wanted to share my thoughts uh, on what was a. I must say, it was a very entertaining game of football last night. The skills were a lot better than round one. Um, I didn't watch the doggies in round one, but. They were very impressive, um, albeit there was a, a, a big miss early in that first quarter. I can't remember the, the girl's name, but um, she was running into open goal and absolutely muffed it, which was to the delight of me as a Carlton supporter. Um, but no, I thought the, the whole energy of the whole um, ground was, was up there. It was colorful. People were expressing themselves. I thought it was quite nice. Um, I relate the, the, um, the vibe of the crowd not too dissimilar to the NRL, a bit more family orientated, a bit lighter, not too much abuse being thrown out at the umpires, um, which oh, I don't mind a bit of abuse at an umpire here and there, but I think I'll just uh, let that slide until the the men the men season comes about and I can get a little bit more rowdy. Uh, but no, no, it was, it was a good day. It was a good night and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, obviously, we, we go down and uh, I'll, I'll share with you some of the, the things that stood out to me Quarter by quarter, uh, I thought uh, the goal that Elise O'Day kicked um, came from an unbelievably impressive passage of play, all set up through a Darcy Vessio contested mark about 65, 70 meters out. She lowered the eyes, hit up Nick Stevens, another good contested mark. She then lowered the eyes and hit up Elise O'Day, and it was really what I was hoping to see from the girls last week. So to see them do that was uh, was impressive. There was a lot more handballing, I noticed, especially in that second quarter. Um, uh, Katie Loins, unbelievable tackle um, in our forward 50. Uh, she went back and slotted it. Um, Georgia G, her goal, the passage of play. If you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you do. It was, um, yeah, the skills were definitely up and we were up and about in that second quarter. Um, like I said, the handball game looked good. It seemed like that was something we were trying to do a little bit more from, from last week, really run it out of defense and... Um, be composed in traffic. And for the most part, they did that. Um, Maddie Guerin, who I noticed in the first quarter, I didn't I didn't know her. I saw the ponytail from a, a while away. She was dashing out of half back. And I remember saying to myself, like, who is that? I don't know who this girl is. And anyway, I figured out the numbers and, and who she was. She was very impressive, but unfortunately, terrible turnover in the corridor in that second quarter. The dogs ran, ran forward and kicked an immediate goal. Um, which was disappointing. It really stung. We had the momentum at that point uh, and the doggies got one against the flow. Uh, that really hurt, but I guess, you know, she'll learn from that as uh, I'm sure they all will. Third quarter, it was the Taylor Harris show. She was really impressive. Unbelievable mark early in that third. Um, kicked the goal and then she kicks this absolute belter from 53 out. It bounced probably two or three meters shy of the goal line and then went through. And that just got the crowd up and about. Uh, I must say the doggy supporters were there in full flight. They were very loud uh, on another note. Um, I thought Grace Egan really lifted. She had seven touches in that third quarter after having five in the first half. And um, she's got this, man, she's got this evasiveness in traffic where she's able to have that extra second to change direction and she's got that confidence in her strength through her hips so she knows if she changes direction and someone tackles her she still has time to get rid of the ball um, but I really enjoyed her third quarter and I was really confident we we're going to win the game I really was I thought okay we're you know we're here to play today we didn't let we didn't start poorly like last week um, we set ourselves up at half time but unfortunately we were wasteful going forward in that fourth quarter the dogs kicked two quick goals, just running beautiful goals. They were very impressive. And um, Georgia G misses a crucial set shot, which she really, she's better than that. She should have kicked it. Maddie Presparkis misses a shot from about, no, oh, I guess it was a tightish angle, but you back her to kick that goal. Um, Taylor Harris, great pack mark, but a terrible miss. And, um, you know, there's the game. We lose by six points. We had our chances. It was disappointing. Um, I spoke to Joe and Jules and Dan on the Almost Blues Brothers podcast during the week. And um, Joe asked the question. He said, like, is this a club culture thing? We muff our chances. We 
overhype ourselves and then mentally we're not able to just get the job done and I remember saying no 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 the girls are different to the guys and to be honest it was very much all the same thing that I see with the men um you know good patches lapses lapses costing us um obviously in this game it wasn't a four or five goal swing but start of that fourth quarter uh, the lapses just cost us we really dominated um the rest of that fourth quarter and the ball was in our forward half pretty much from the moment the dogs kicked their second goal. And it was all us. And it's disappointing because we're talking about a, a season where there's not a lot of games to be played. So every game means a bit more. And we're 0-2. We're in a we're in a funk. Um, we have to win next week. Um, you know, we're, we're, you know, Daniel Harford in the preseason, you know, making comments like, oh, I wouldn't want to play against us. And... I don't mind that. It put the expectation on, um, but I think it's it's going to be a bit of a reality check for them that just because we're very talented doesn't mean that we're going to get the results. And obviously, we're missing quite a few of our very good players. Um, we're missing Chloe Dalton. <laughs> Definitely need her in the ruck. Not to say that Bree Moody doesn't do a fantastic job because she does. Um, but yeah, we, we're missing Brooke Walker's speed. We're missing La Luifi. We're missing McAvoy. We're missing, you know, some quality players there and uh, I think the synergy is, is, is coming through but it's going to take some time because there's quite a few newer players there um, some other standouts I, I actually um, I noticed Abby McKay and um, McKay and and I noticed her early in the game and she was wearing number five and I said to myself again like oh who is that I go on the app I realize it's her she did some really nice things in traffic uh, I really did enjoy her game um, I love Jess Hosking's attack on the footy it's just she, she's very consistent with the way she approaches it. Uh, I thought Maddie Prasparkas was unbelievable. I thought she was our best on ground. Um, Georgia G, um, not really someone that gets a lot of the ball usually. She had 17 touches and a goal last night. I thought she was really good. Uh, Mimi Hill, another one who I had to double check and uh, who she was. She, she was very impressive as well. And yeah, um, there's a few more there that I've probably missed, but I'll let you finish that off. It was a good night at the footy. It's so good to have it back and watch a good game of footy. It was a lot better than last week. But in terms of um, you know, the result, it's poor. And now we're, we find ourselves in this challenging situation because now you, know, now you start thinking, oh, we can't lose our third. But you know, obviously, you can't think about that in the game next week. You've got to think about winning the game. So I, th- I hope we'll be okay. I'm very confident in the, the makeup of the girls um, to get the job done. But it's time to turn this around and it's time to get that first win of the season and and get it going. So let me know what you think. Were you at the game? Were you not at the game? Did you watch the game on TV? What did you think? Let me know who your best players were and uh, let's chat about it some more. Have a great one. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and go the Mighty Blues. (laughs) 